Hello everyone, welcome back to Outer Space Dead Cells. I am on a roll. I am not going to stop playing this game until... This is... We've done... Shit. Okay. <laughs> this is not fair. What am I supposed to do? Ah. <laughs> I can't. I can't do the thing because the dude is. This is just wrong. There's only two shots in this boat, right? So the other thing you have to have. All right, it's just, just hang on. We haven't done this for ages. Let's try this one instead. Screw the cudgel. So these are two red, red thingies right here. Yeah. I have no idea how to beat these enemies without a um without a shield to help me because what I was behind a wall in case you didn't notice but we will learn <laughs> I haven't run without a shield for such a long time this is going to go horribly horribly wrong but we're here not to talk about shields but I'm telling you how to make a cheese toasty which is butter goes on the outside of the bread that's the first thing right that is a bit messy this is water running through yourself. Um, then you put the cheese in. Right, I always get this wrong. <laughs> you put the cheese because normally you might put, you know, the the butter. Then the, basically you attach the cheese to the butter, and that is delicious and wonderful. But uh, no, you have to make sure that you have not accidentally attached the cheese to the butter. Okay, because. The butter is what gets cooked to make it delicious. This is very important, so don't get it wrong. Um, after that, you normally you would put it in the toasty maker, which is an amazing device. It makes toasties. Uh, basically, by this very same. Um, how dare you? How dare you take so long to attack that I can't even hit you? That, oh, hang on. My nose is itching because I'm pissed off. <laughs> I hate the nutcracker. Will you stop giving me the friggin' nutcracker at the start of these runs? It's stressing me out. I hate it. I hate the nutcracker, and I hate the slow-ass crappy sword that is similar to the nutcracker, but isn't a nutcracker, okay? Just give me an easy, simple, old-fashioned, no special behavior, no bollocks, you know, don't make me use a shield and spec weirdly. Just heckin... Just give me a sword I can use. Plus 25... Plus 75 DPS. Okay. So, I'm not quite sure how you give it plus 25 DPS, but I'm gonna believe you. Okay, we have got through that. This... Sod this bow. <laughs> that bow would be great if you hadn't given me the damn nutcracker and made me shout and be salty about it. And I'm going to spec full on red on the assumption that I'm going to be able to replace all of my things with better red things over time. And I'm not going to take any shield or anything, although I did get better at it and start to maybe realise that that is the correct way of working. But, you know, we're not here for personal gain or, or growth. We're here to kick ass and do bubble gum. And I'm all out of that. So just leave me alone. You miss me with that. Okay, so you've got the cheese inside the, the thingy, and you made a bit of a mess on your sideboard because what you've got is now two pieces of bread with the butter on the outside, which means necess out of necessity one of them is facing butter side down. Uh, like like you've pre-dropped a piece of toast, right? But you you've dropped it in a in a <clears throat> in a sensible way. You you. Use your uh, use your cunning and, and guile to make sure that you, you put it on a, a proper surface, a, a hygienic, um, salient surface. Well, there's a thing there. But, uh, I'm not going to uh, for, for the for the purpose. This is not correct.
Have it you. Um, fine. Well done. So you've, you've done that bit. Now, with the cheese in the middle. Yeah, just hit me. Obviously, there's no reason why I should ever be able to pick up a weapon that can kill those things, or at least incapacitate them, before they can shoot me with their friggin' poison bullshit nonsense. Give me this. Give me this. Um, then... You put your cheese in it, and if you're not using cheese, just stop making it. You know, when I say butter, I don't mean margarine, you know. This is not America. You may be in America, but you're still wrong. You don't use artificial products here. If you can't spread the butter on the bread, why have you put the butter in the fridge? If you put the butter in the fridge because it goes rancid, why are you using butter that goes rancid? Huh? Salted butter doesn't go rancid. That's why it exists. I've always been very much a... Oh, if you're going to do that, I might as well do this. There's no point in having fire and ice at the same time, but there's no point in having the... Yeah, okay, no, I'm not going to change, because the the ice thingy means that I can use my nutcracker. Okay. Oh, you know, we... Oh, there's... Many, many recipes are basically based around the fact that if, in the old days, people didn't make them properly, it would go off, because it took four bloody weeks to get to London or whatever. You know, city to city was not a simple case of get on a, a train or in your car or something. It was literally, you have to get off and walk. Imagine walking to London from wherever you are. Even if you are in London right now, imagine walking any further than the train station that is your nearest. Okay? Even if you are literally next to the Tower of London, I don't care. Go and walk to the Tower of London right now and tell me how long it took you. Would you rather not do that? Maybe. That seems correct. So if you're going, say, from palace to palace, do I want to go to the promenade again then? I don't know. The toxic sewers might actually be easier at this point. Um, I didn't even make that through. Make, through, make it through that without taking heck a lot of damage because you're going to be the freaking nutcracker. I'm salty. I'm going to do about it. <clears throat> so we've got the Hunter's Mirror unlocked, which is nice. I'm going to have a look at that later. Also, custom mode uh, exists. I think that is where you can build a run. But I don't want to do that. There's no point. Um, I'd rather run with the... Um, I'd rather run with the random that the game gave me at this point, to be honest with you. Uh, melee attack slow down, name is... What is this? <laughs> 13 elite enemies. Yeah, nice. <coughs> Using a health potion grants 397 DPS. I'm gonna take the skill cooldown. And of course we have this hunter's grenade, which means I get to create more elites for no bloody reason. Just to make my life harder, even though it's hard enough as it is. Um Salted butter is one of those things. So is cheese. Like literally the whole concept of cheese. Like <sighs> <clears throat> Bugs me the when things like keep him refrigerator or go horrible and you'll die. And like, apart from the fact that you know this exact thing that I'm eating right now is specifically designed to avoid that problem. <laughs> nice. Are you going to come up here? Why do you get a shield? Doesn't seem fair. What? <laughs> Uh, I don't want to fight it because there's two more enemies down there. I need to kill him. Also, why this range on this shield is ludicrous. I'm gonna have to kill it, obviously. I don't want to. He <laughs> can't make me. Can you see me? No. Good. Right, you're dead. You're dead. You die too, and then we'll all be happy. You know. There's another one. Why? How long is your range? How? Stop it! <laughs> Why have you given me these weapons that are useless? Give me a good run, or so help me, I'm gonna go and play Minecraft. I swear to god. This is a Minecraft day, if ever I've seen one. I'm really enjoying playing Minecraft. I moved away from the microphone, that's why I sound. Yes. Fine. But I'm replacing the shield. I'm not doing a shield run. You can't stop me. 
Okay, you can't make me. I'm better at this game than you're letting me be. I was dodging. I was pressing the button and you just ignored it. I swear my Y button is just not working. It's twice in this past, like, however long that I've been aware of pressing the Y button and it going wrong. Let alone accidentally not realizing that it didn't work. I'm certainly not taking any freaking prisoners. Seriously? No. <laughs> Go away. Like, I'm trying to roll through these things, and if I can't roll through them, I'm trying to hit them with the old shieldy thing, but I don't have the... I can't. <laughs> it's too hard. <laughs> Stop making me dry. Especially these birdie things, right? I'm... I can't roll past them. If I try and, like, zap them with my shield, they haven't thrown their thingy yet. Or well, something else is going to hit me while I wait for it. I guess that's the difficulty with these birds right now, is that you have to wait for the bird to attack you. You can't, um, you can't parry something else whilst you're waiting for the bird. It has to be the bird. Because if you, if you don't wait for the bird, then the bird will shoot you whilst you parry some melee attack from some crappy zombie. But if you just, you know, done a bad dodge, then... You know, if you just rolled and then got in the wrong side of the zombie, you, you, you can't dodge the zombie again, and you can't parry it because the the, the bird is going to shoot you, and you can't get out of there because for some reason it keeps stunning you. Do you know what we should take these? Why am I selling stuff when I haven't got anything to carry yet? What does this one do? He'll hit 4% and make him invulnerable for 3 seconds. That could be good at some point, but I, I really don't care. I need to... Give me this grenade. Give me the... I think the trouble... <laughs> I'd forgotten about this, actually. The last time we played a full-on melee sort of uh, uh, brutality run, all of the things were different. Do you remember? I do. Heck you. <laughs> it's purple. I don't care about purple. I remember when looking for perps was, was totes a thing. I was uh, watching Minya playing um, Warcraft 3, which is the only Warcraft I've played myself, but not as much of it. Not nearly as much of it. In fact, I didn't get very far at all. Warcraft 3, I was told to play by people because I was playing a lot of World of Warcraft, as you know you do when you're a nerd. And I was told to play Warcraft 3 because it would give me a lot of sort of lore context of the story in World of Warcraft itself. Which seemed like a great idea because, you know, I, when you play a game like World of Warcraft, you really do get into the idea that... Um, somehow I came through that without taking damage, by the way, so just don't draw attention to it and maybe it'll go away. Um, yeah, I'm not doing that. Also, I don't have enough money, so heck you. Um, the, I, I guess it's true of most games. You're, you get interested in the story. World of Warcraft has a very big story. Um, it, it spans many, many years and is quite in depth and involved. Well, I took damage. The very last second. Go away! Oh my god. Did you see that? There was no way out of that. Have it. Also, how did that infantry grenade not kill that enemy? Just die! I'm going to avoid using my uh, flask because I'm hoping that I can find something else. To refill that HP that I just completely squandered. I didn't even squander it. I kind of did. <laughs> uh, I think I'd rather have that thing up there. So let's go and get it. Where is the way in? Way upstairs. I walk right past the teleporter whilst looking for the teleporter. Yes. I. Mm. So I played a lot of Border Rock. You get into the story of any game that you play, really. As long as it's got a good enough story, but the story continues from the story of Warcraft 3, which there's not really any necessity that you actually played it in the first place, right? Uh, and I haven't. So that makes sense. Uh, and what happened was this was. 
This has been the early 2000s. So, what is this bit over here? You're gonna let me in there. I'm gonna try. Go for full completion bonus, huh? Full exploration. Here's a thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, ah. A small bag with a god ray light shaft. <laughs> this is the best bag ever. <coughs> my voice, my voice, my kingdom for my voice. What's happened? Let's play the solos because I don't care anymore. I've given up. Um. World of, I'm going to play Warcraft 3, and this is early 2000s, so I had, um, had a laptop, and I started, this is when I started using Linux a lot. And the reason I started using Linux a lot is that laptops at the time were just crucially incapable of running Windows. <laughs> Windows was basically horribly, horribly incapable of running on anything. So, I, I installed Linux on my computer. On my laptop, sort of experimentally, but uh, also like on purposefully. Do you know? What? Let's reforge this. Yeah, <laughs> straight up there. Uh, and then, yeah, um, I had to, I wanted to run Warcraft three, so I started playing with Wine, the emulator that. That is not an emulator, right? Uh, everyone's heard of it if they've ever used Linux to play games <laughs> on it. Uh, at least until recently, actually. It's been a lot better recently. Why am I parrying it? Um, however, back then, no such luck. Although Wine was still pretty good. Uh, it was before Wine was actually released. Because Wine wanted to wait until it could fully support Word or Office. All of Office, I think, not Word. Um, before it considered itself a 1.0. I am uh, dealing a lot of damage now. Uh, okay. I don't need to use my weapon that I can't use. <laughs> you know what? Um, yes, that one. I could use my shields more effectively, but I think I've done actually quite well. So, enough of the criticisms, okay? Leave me alone. I'm doing my best. And this is not... I'm not here to play this game. I'm here to talk to you about my experiences with World War So, shush. Um, yes, thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. We are going to make it. So, don't worry. Um, so, I tried to play Warcraft 3. Oh. On a Linux laptop. I think it, was, it wasn't a... I was going to say it's a 4x6. It wasn't a 4x6. It wasn't that bad. I can't use my shield twice as fast as I Uh, leave me alone. <laughs> I, I honestly do not know what happened. Okay? So, there you go. You die. You die. Alright, very good. Uh, that was horrible, and I... This game just surprises me. <laughs> you know, I'm doing really, really well, and then all of a sudden, hey, here's a bunch of enemies you cannot possibly uh, beat. Because one of them, oh no, actually, funny joke, two of them are completely invisible and uh, you don't have a cooldown on your shield, so you can't react to the fact that they've just shown up. Anyway, Warcraft. So I played it a little bit, but not enough, because what I was really doing was playing it whilst I'm train journeys. You can't hit me whilst I'm stomping! Also, what? Why are you here? I didn't walk into you. I didn't do anything to... What is happening? Why? Why are you teleporting now? No! <laughs> Just take this mid-fight. Don't worry about me. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Excuse me? Let's talk about what you just did. As rational adults. You managed to not be affected by a grenade that went off in your face because you were half covered by a wall. My nose is so itchy. How am I this bad at this game all of a sudden? Is it because it just won't give me things that I'm good at? <laughs> I'm really trying really hard and I haven't played it for ages and oh my god, why? I hate this and I hate this. This is why I didn't want to unlock so many things, because it's just going to give you shitty runs. Yeah. 
up against the wall. Who has enemies up against the wall? Nobody. There's no room in walls here. There's one. Such a bad weapon. Where did you come from? Can somebody please nerf these fucking things? <laughs> Pardon my French, but this is it's just bullshit. No, I can't parry everything. Why? Nice. No one needs critical hits if the enemy's up against the wall. I swear to God. Now would be a great time to give me the other one that I hate, where you get a crit if you hit many things at once, which was completely useless in the run, where it would be great if the because there were no situations where there were many things at once in a row right and now nothing's up against the wall and there's like 20 enemies in a row oh my god just leave me alone <laughs> i've got an itchy nose and a lot of ranting to do and you're just not making it easy on me i'm trying to roll but you're just attacking even though I asked you not to. <sighs> no, I'm not going to heal. I'm just going to die. <laughs> I'm actually getting upset right now. And this is starting to piss me off. Because I, I, I can't win. <laughs> you keep giving me runs that I don't know how to deal with. And then give me enemies that I've never seen before. And I still genuinely think I just unfair. Right? Because... No one can see invisible things. That's why it's called invisible. It's like right there in the name. Visible is like the property of being seeable. And then like visible is related to the word vision, which is what we used to see with. And Anyway, once you've put the uh, cheese in between the slices of bread, you're going to want to bung the whole thing. Like If you have a toaster maker, by all means at this point, make use of it because that is what it's for uh what toast maker is it's going to be two hot plates that sort of pressed together on top of one another. So similarly you might have seen like a george foreman grill or something like that which i keep calling a george formby grill but apparently that's not what really cool uh not that because those suck right if you want the fat to come off your meat cut the fat off your meat before you put it in your george formby grill right if you want to just eat food the way God intended, stop faffing around with it, right? Just eat something else. This is the other thing. Like, I, I have a very unpopular opinion about vegetarianism, which is not that there's a problem with it. Um, in fact, if meat wasn't so delicious, I would probably manage it myself. No, my problem is, why do you have to make, like, sausage-shaped crap <laughs> just to be vegetarian, right? There's many, many foods that are available to you as a vegetarian. In fact, I would say that there are more foods available to a vegetarian than there are to uh, a full-on meat. Well, not more foods, but there are more foods that are vegetarian like, uh, than there are meats. <coughs> that may not be strictly true. I mean, there's a lot of things that classify as meat, especially if you don't eat fish either. But um, if you are a strict vegetarian, rather than like a piscatarian or anything. There's, there's a lot of vegetables. Like most of most food is vegetarian. You know, it's just the, the nice bit that is not vegetarian. Right? It's the, it's the meaty bit. And then you usually make some sort of sauce or, or, or pastry or, you know vegetable lettuce lattice or you know potato like there's always something that goes with your meat that is vegetarian and then you're going to put things like salt and pepper you know there's various herbs that you're going to put on it many people like to I think, uh curried meat or uh like an italian style with tomatoes and basil ah like a bolognese this, uh, what is this one Very slipshod game <laughs> Yes. Very good use of the word slipshod. I think I'm not going to upgrade that if it's all the same to you. 
Yeah, I don't want any of this. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, what I object to is the idea that, like, why should you have a sausage? And if you do want a sausage, like, Linda McCartney sausages taste like absolute crap, but they're just made of vegetables. The, this whole corn thing, which is basically a fungus, uh, it is literally a fungus, and what they do is, <laughs> you know, they grow the fungus to taste like the thing that it's replacing. Like pork, or beef, chicken. Those are the three main ones. You get pork, beef, and chicken, corn. And I'm like, but why? <laughs> there's, there's a million, if you like the taste of those things, eat those things. And if you have a moral objection to eating those things, then just like something else, <laughs> you know? It, it, it's so bizarre to me that you would... I mean, think about people who are allergic, right? Let's say you're allergic to bread. As many people are genuinely um, unable to eat gluten, it's not just a fact. So, if those people like the taste of bread, well, there exists a thing called gluten-free bread, and it's terrible. Much like how corn is not very good either, if, as, as a ersatz alternative to the food. How did all of that miss you? Finally, I got a crit in. Give me a better weapon than this, I, I seriously. This entire level is one not a wall. One long no walls here. I don't know. And then, so, like, I don't think it's particularly controversial opinion, to be honest. It's just that, like, vegetarians are like, well, I should have to eat what we By all means, eat what you want. I don't care what you eat, <laughs> right? Unless it's, like, people. I, my timing is off. And then why is my nose so itchy? It's probably because my blood pressure is going up because this game is so much of a dick, basically. Ooh. Where did that come from? This game has gone from, hey, let's just win it, to where did that come from? Hey, welcome to where did that come from, with Altrius, the salt man. I can smell my own armpits, that's how warm I am right now. I'm going to leave this here, and I'm going to go and play some goddamn Minecraft, because my nose is so itchy. I thought it was because of drinking. Like, I used to have a whiskey or something, didn't I? Uh, no. I'm <laughs> just dying. Oh, please, take me away. Oh, water, yes. Mm. Stuff of life. Thank you for watching this episode. One of, the, one of these days, I'm going to actually get through a thought and then not die. So I can finish the game. <laughs> Thank you for watching. That's three episodes I've recorded, so hopefully that counts as a backlog. And until next time... I'll see ya.